Riveting intro, wouldn't you say? It's good to start off a review with some class for a change. This time I will be reviewing the Witchblade series, which is based on the comic book of the same name, which is a show that I watched earlier today. When I came to watch this, I thought this was going to be overloaded with fan service. Anyway, there's more to animate than just fan service alone. The Witchblade series is made by Gorzo, who also made the Afro Samurai series, and dubbed by Funimation, who did the, the Afro Samurai series. So, the marriage between Funimation and Gorzo has produced some pretty good work, and hopefully will do more good in the future. Moving this review swiftly on, it's time for my usual talking point. It's time for the storyline. Six years before the series starts, there is an earthquake in Tokyo, which destroys one half of the city. The series opens up with uh, Miss Masano and her daughter Riko, moving to Tokyo to set up a new life. The relationship between those two is very sweet and sentimental, which probably is the backbone to the whole entire series. Miss Masane has no memory of before the earthquake, but also, she carries an ancient and powerful weapon known as the Witch Blade, which is either a gift or a curse. It isn't long before a company picks Miss Masane up and wants to use the Witch Blade for their own ends. And then another company wants to use a Witch Blade for their own ends, so Miss Masane is caught in the middle and has to protect those she loves. The enemies range from, from mechanical walking death tanks to women using other witch blades who all would love to kill her. That's all I'm willing to talk about the plotline without giving too much information away and plot twists. On to my next usual talking point. It's time for the good bits. The action in the witch blade series is very decent. It has a certain level of panache when it comes to the action. It has a certain level of variation when it comes to each fight scene. It's not just the same fight scene repeated over and over again. And don't think the Witchblade series is all action and no substance, this can do the dramatics reasonably well, with quite a few dramatical scenes scattered throughout the whole entire series. It also has a brilliant and dramatical ending, but sorry no tears. This also has a decent sense of humour unlike some anime which has a slightly perverse sense of humour. The opening and closing title music is very decent, with some very good songs. Here's a quick list of all the songs that I actually liked. Are you done reading them? Good, I'm taking them down now. That's all the good bits I can immediately think of. So it's on to my next usual talking point. It's time for the bad bits. It's like I said earlier, the fan service is a bit heavy at times. It's not all fan service all the time, it does know when to use the fan service correctly. And I really should take that picture down, I don't want anybody to get the wrong idea. There's only one series consisting of 24 episodes, and I got the weird feeling that they could have made this into a longer running franchise. But that just means it doesn't hang around long enough to bore me. But anyway, they're the only two complaints that I could really find with this series. So if you're looking for a series peppered with variety and blazing action, here's your series. And anyway, moving this review onto it, my final point, it's time for the final scores. I give the Witchblade series 40 out of 50. Bye and thanks for watching.